Australian landscapes and ecosystems have been shaped by adaptation and evolution through the millennia of natural phenomena, including flood, drought, fire and cyclones. Our land use and increased frequency of high-risk weather events have impacted our communities and environment as well as the state's natural resilience. This means that we need to be prepared for high-risk weather events which can happen at short notice, any time and in any location throughout Queensland. This series of short webinars will highlight the risks that could be experienced over this and any future high-risk weather periods. It will also provide insight into what preparations industries and operators should take to prepare for and mitigate the impacts and risks from an extreme weather event. Damaging seasonal weather events can occur at any location, particularly between November and April. Some examples of the potential impacts of inadequate preparation for high-risk weather events are presented on the next two slides. During a previous high-risk weather season, a large quarry operator in southeast Queensland undertook a significant expansion without installing adequate erosion and sediment controls. This resulted in unlawful sediment releases into the environment and the department issued multiple penalty infringement notices valuing $46,440 and an environmental protection order requiring the operator to prevent further releases of sediment. The department's intervention was necessary to ensure the impacts on the environment were mitigated and that adequate controls were installed. The decision by the company to commence the highest risk component of the project in the land clearing and bulk earthworks just prior to the wet season exacerbated the risk and is not the best practice. The operator could have avoided the offences and protected the environment by adequately planning for extreme weather and installing adequate control measures. The 2010-2011 wet season brought unprecedented rain and flooding to Queensland and led to the declaration of 78% of the state as a disaster zone. Due to the scale of the disaster, the Queensland Floods Commission of Inquiry was established to examine the events leading to the floods, all aspects of the response, and to make recommendations about improvements. The then Director General of the then Department of Environment and Heritage Protection chaired the Environment and Mines Implementation Group, which was responsible for the delivery of all recommendations from Chapter 13 of the Commission's report. One of the recommendations was the implementation of a new risk assessment approach and pre-wet season mine inspection, which increases preparedness for each wet season. To be prepared, you need to regularly monitor weather conditions and the Australian Bureau of Meteorology or BOM website closely for seasonal weather outlooks, important updates and weather warnings. It is important to remember that the BOM's weather updates can change considerably and weather forecasting can be challenging, so you will need to regularly check for updates from the BOM and other credible sources. You can then consider the potential risks associated with seasonal weather and apply necessary controls, regardless of whether the BOM is expecting an El Nino, dry conditions, or La Nina, wet conditions.